So this is the Department of Dance. We're here with Indecent Noise. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the label? Do you have any upcoming collaborations or singles? Um, gonna... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We just, I just finished a couple of tracks uh, in the last few weeks. I don't want to just go into details. I have a forthcoming collab with Ian Standawake, which is really um, banging, I would say. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good combination of our bo of both styles. You know, his, his melodic and gentle approach to trance and my techie, you know, uh, vibe. So it's, it's good and works on the, on the dance floor. I've just finished uh, another track called Come Get Some. It's like the funny tech trance slash, I would say, I, wouldn't, I don't, I don't want to say it's EDM, but it's like a big Room 140 record. It's good works as well. A um, couple of the remixes I finished. I did the bootleg remix of KC Escape. The original comes from 1998 or 1997, as far as I remember. Um, and I did a remix for one of my favorite uh, Signum tracks from 2001 called First Strikes, and it's gonna be released officially soon on Armada, so it's cool. Do I have a plans for an upcoming artist album? Uh, I've been asked this many, many times. And I don't feel that this is the time. And I personally think that I know that many people would disagree with me, but for me, all this album is, is a waste of time, kind of. Because you want to, um, you know, just focus on the, on the singles, you know, just want, you want to focus on to push, you want to focus to push. The, every single track you make, right? O of course, you know, album is a great adventure, you know, it's just a journey. And you can produce music you don't produce, you know, just every day, you know, you want to, as, for me as a trans artist, right? I can produce some, I don't know, drum and bass, break bits, ambient music even for, but to be honest with you, I don't feel like I need an album right now. What is my worst geek experience? Um, that was a couple of years ago in Germany, in Magdeburg. Magdeburg is known as the, the center of kind of university uh, center of Germany, right? It's the biggest math, uh, science universities are located there. So, okay, so I played uh, Lakeside um, venue, right? It's a lovely place under the bridge of Magdeburg, and there was no pre-sale of the tickets at all. And uh, there was the biggest rainstorm I ever seen in my life. Three people showed up, and a dog. And the dog was barking all the breakdowns. And this is the true story, I'm not kidding. This is what happened. Okay, so the flip side of that, what is your best gig experience? I guess in Argentina, that was the first uh, party I played. That was 2011, I guess. Uh, March 2011 in Buenos Aires. That was the first, the, the first party I just, I was like, I was absolutely, Ah, amazed by everything, you know, just the reaction. I was, I was just starting, you know. I just came from there was tiny fish in the big pond, right? And for me, that was like unbelievable experience. And for me, that was one of the, my favorite gigs. And recently, I would say that was New York, exactly a year ago. Uh, I did five hours set. What I do to get ready on stage? I'm, first of all, I'm always prepared, my music is ready, I'm always focused, and the vodka works before. Let's take a shot, you know? This is the best example, you get, you get in the mood, you know? Also, when we get, well, well, I speak serious, right? Try to go a little bit before your set and see the crowd's reaction to the music and try to figure out where you can take them with your with music. You know, I'm always, I have to tell you, I'm always nervous. You know, after those, those many years, you know, of gigging, I'm always nervous, but it all go away after the first transition. Then I'm full on, the vodka works. So quick question, what do you know about Houston? What do you know about, what do I know about Houston? Houston Rockets, all right. <laughs> he seems happy. Well I've, I've, well, I've been there, and uh, as far as I know, the Air France doesn't deliver bags to Houston because they lost my agent's bag on the way. Oh, no. 
Yeah, sorry. Um, it's a lovely city. I really enjoy playing there and spending some time there. Oh, and, and Houston. When I was in Houston, that was the, some kind of Comic Con thing. Yes. Yeah, it was good. You know, I was, I was, uh, I was in the elevator with three Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, exactly. You know, I'm, a, I'm a fanboy. You know, when I, when I'm, in, when I'm in classic party, you know, I have a massive collection of vinyls, about three thousand pieces, something like this. You know, always bring the, the art, the covers with me. You know, to sign and like, oh, you're such a fanboy, Alex. You know, <laughs> and I'm blessed because. The majority of the guys I grew on the music on, I can call them friends, you know, it's Tala to XLC, you know. You know, I know rank one Cosmic Gate, Paul Van Dyke very well, you know. So I all I also I bumped today into the route on the streets of Amsterdam, the Mr. Really? Sandstorm uh, itself, so it was like whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm in this noise, and you're watching me. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm watching, and I'm watching you. <laughs> Hi, I'm in this noise, and you are watching the Department of Dance.